Canola School on realagriculture.com is supported by Bear Crop Science. Historically, we haven't had serious issues from cutworms when we've had moist conditions in the springtime. These insects tend to live and it, it, beneath the soil surface, but, but above the, the water line, if you know what I mean, in that dry area uh, near the upper portion of the soil. Having said that, uh, we've had some rather moist years in some parts of the province over the last few years, and I've been wrong. We still have had cutworm issues. So cutworms uh, are uh, still in need of some, some substantial research because I think in large part there are a whole suite of species. It's not one species, but it, there are several of them that are capable of, of occurring under different environmental conditions. So, so it's something that's, that's uh, got us uh, in, in a state of uncertainty, but, but monitoring is the best answer for them. Cutworms uh, are usually present themselves as unexplained lack of plants in a certain area and it's really only by digging down that we can often find the source of that infestation. The, they tend to come up at night, they tend to uh, chew off parts of plants, usually at the stem, and pull the uh, plant material beneath the soil surface where they feed. So even if they've destroyed a plant, uh, we've seen many instances of this and they've left the, uh, the a severed plant stem on the soil surface, it can dry out very quickly and blow away. So there's really no above ground evidence of them. It's by digging down in areas where there just seems to be poor, uh, a poor plant stand, poor crop emergence. Well, there are a number of very effective and uh, registered insecticidal products that, that, uh, are, that work against cutworms. The, the big question is what is the ability of the plant stand to withstand some cutworm attack? I, one concern that many of us have in the canola industry, for example, is that farmers have been reducing their planting rates. And reducing planting rates uh, can be more economical in one sense, but if you think of a few plants being taken by cutworms, a few being killed by flea beetles, a few by wireworms, there's no reserve plant stand or, or the plant stand can't tolerate, tolerate uh, as much loss. So all of those factors need to be taken into account. It, it, uh, it very much varies. It can be in the order of zero, it can be 10 to 30 percent, it, it can be even more. Within the last uh, few years where farmers have experienced cutworm attack, uh, in the fields that I've seen it's been approximately 25 percent yield loss. But again, uh, it, it really just depends. <laughs>